All right, welcome everyone. We are on episode nine of John and Eric's epic adventures into Skyrim. So we are here in our home in Whiterun, relaxing after we wrongfully put in jail for a while. We are, in this episode, we are gonna be, oh, we have a pirate hat rede redemption. I'm gonna go with this pirate hat or the, the large pirate hat? You'll have to clarify, because we have two pirate, this, well, this is the pirate hat. The other one's more of a, I guess a sailor's hat. I don't know, captain's hat, that's what it is. So we're vibing in white run right now. Yeah, the other one's a captain's tricor, that is correct. We have a few other quests, right? Traveling to Solstheim, um, thing, a few other things right here, like getting um, Mara's blessing. Down here, we have a quest for assassinating the Silverhand leader, joining the Dawn Guard, a few other miscellaneous quests. But uh, this other Lost Legends quest, uh, finding the Forge Master's fingers, and they're kind of, you know, spread all over the world. Up here, right, we have a bunch of stuff to do back at the uh, College of Winterhold. But I think during this episode, we are going to be prioritizing getting our crafting skills up. We are probably going to start the episode right now. Um, let me double check. I think all of our gold is in my inventory, right? Look at all these gems we have. Good Lord. Yep. So you can see down, down our inventory over there, we have 68,000 gold. We managed to sell a bunch of our miscellaneous potions and stuff down here. Um, so you can see now we only have our potions of invisibility and water breathing, all the frenzy potions, poisons have been sold. I sold all of the other uh, equipment too, right? We still have dragon meat to figure out what to do with. <clears throat> Excuse me. So right now we are going to go get some heavy armor training because we haven't done that for this level. We're going to level up. We're probably immediately going to get more heavy armor training. And then we'll most likely be spending this episode doing enchantments or creating some potions that we can use to increase our gold as well as our total level. And so I think that's pretty much going to be the entirety of this episode is just doing some crafting. This stupid basket we kick over there, and then it, like, respawns right here. It's so weird. So, we're probably going to prioritize smithing. I mean, we're level 38, and our, our speech is, like, ridiculously high. It's amazing. But for our crafting, right, we... Ideally, what we want to do is get all the way up here to dragon materials it requires a hundred smithing so I'm maxing that out right it's gonna take a while the good news is that you can get a lot of XP by crafting jewelry so that can be very valuable we also have something like 60 Dwemer ingots so we can do a bunch of different uh, plate bodies I don't know how much other material we have I know we have a bunch of ebony ingots so we can craft probably just some decorative equipment that we can put around the house right then leveling our enchanting is probably something that we might do for a little bit this episode as well. We have so many broken enchanted pieces of equipment that we can learn from. So we'll probably put a few perks into that. And then we can always default to alchemy if we ever need more gold. So because I don't know exactly how much gold we're going to be able to get just from uh, smithing and enchanting. With enchanting, we can probably get a bunch of gold if we do paralysis as an enchantment on weapons so that is something we really might look into that's really valuable i think water breathing is also really valuable i'm not too sure we'll i'll do some uh, experimentation on that i'll kind of report back what we find good some lord farkas don't think i'm smart those people get my fist but yeah you, or a I sword like. in a sword in the face right he likes me i'll show you what i can about protecting yourself all right Oh, Lord. All right, this is going to give me like a heart attack as I do this. So we're at 70k, right? Just a little below 70k. Ow, ow. Oh, he can't teach us anymore. What? We can't learn anymore from him? He maxes out at 90. Look at that. Oh, okay. 
Well, crap. Until next time. <laughs> what? What do we level instead? Uh, probably two-handed, I imagine, right? Dang. Okay. I mean, we could do block too, but I think two-handed is gonna be what we're focusing on here, unless we can uh, level our lock picking, but we'd have to go to Riften for that. We we could level our restoration. That might be something worth throwing the levels into, but we can always use uh, spell research for that. The other thing we could do is smithing, but I think it's just cheaper to train the smithing ourselves. We could actually make money. So who who does two-handed training? You do one-handed training. I never thought they would actually let me join. I don't really companions. care about. But now it looks like they're letting anyone. So we'll see. Pet the dog. Should I get a Pope hat for my collection? Maybe. Uh, Ayala does archery. Look at that. I've been running interference for you around here. I don't think anyone's caught on to our little Where potential. was yes. his brother? I'm going to do some running around and seeing if I can find Vilkis. Or is it... I think I can't remember. I think it's Vilkis that trains to him. So I'm going to run around and see if I can find him. Yep, so we, we couldn't find him. So we're just going to do our Have you been bringing the... I'll show you what I know. It's so cheap, though. I don't know if I really want to throw money at this, right? I mean, it'd be so easy for us to, to train something Until else. Uh, but we're close to another level, so we'll just do it. I I'll show you what I know. All right, there we go. And that... Oh, you... There we go. I was like, we better get a level up. So cheap. We still have 60,000 gold. I think we're going to put it into health. Yeah, we'll start sticking it into health. So we have three perk points. All that. We can't invest anything into those yet. Our heavy armor is pretty much maxed out. I'm not too sure what to invest in. We might do another... Um, one of these trees just so that we could start leveling it, right? Even if it's just passively. Speech, I don't think we have any other perks we can throw into, right? Fencing, we don't do stolen goods. And then, I don't know why we can't invest in, in perks like that. It's a little bit strange. I think what we'll do is we'll continue working on other levels and then we'll do some training later. So once, we'll probably wait a day or wait until nighttime so that we can get heavy armor, or excuse me, not heavy armor, um, two-handed training, because we desperately need that. Oh. oh yeah, we reorganized the bookshelf, by the way. I should have showed that in the beginning, but I forgot. So why don't we work on some smithing? Ooh. I have a better idea. So, one of the perks of having high enchanting is that you can create equipment that boosts smithing and alchemy. So, specifically, we don't have any stuff right here, but we literally have things like, where do we have? Fortify, uh, fortify alchemy, right? As well as... On, put them in alphabetical order. Really? There we go. I was like, come on. Fortify smithing. Coin Here it is. Always greases the oh, beans. Eric wants his gold. Alright, that's fine. It's gold to send home to his father, right? Anyway. Oop. The fortify smithing perk, like this. I don't believe it allows you to craft things that you ha don't have unlocked, but it's still going to be really valuable for getting like super buff gear. So we're, I don't know what we can actually apply this to. I think we can actually apply like this. Hmm. Yeah, we'll have to figure that out later, because I know you can do it for, like, clothes, or I, I don't know. I don't know what you can actually apply to. I can probably Google that. 
but what we can do is we can take all of these enchanted items and we're going to the uh, grimoire too we could use um <clears throat> Let's grab, let's go up and grab all of those iron, what are they here? These, uh, just all of these, right? Oh my, are you serious? I'm over encumbered. We need to drop off our gold. We have too much gold. What a ridiculous problem. It's, it's almost comical that we're running around with like 50,000 gold, which weighs, I think it has a carry weight of 50. Like, a thousand gold has a carry weight of one, so if we just go like this... Here, we'll see if we can't... Get exactly 50,000 gold in there. Eh. Eh. No, we're gonna- we're gonna make it exact, just because we can. So I can walk again. Yeah, there we go, right? We just freed up 50 carry weight. Ridiculous. Wish you had a Skyrim credit card. I I know what you mean, but at the same time, I'd really like to have like a real life credit card that's like Skyrim themed. That sounds amazing. So I'm trying to figure out what the most efficient way to do this is. We can either extract, like practice using these, or we can use our 64 petty soul gems and then use all of those and i don't really know what the most efficient way to do this would be i at, at the very least one of the things that we can do is if we're going to train chanting yeah, there it is is put some perks into it so offensive and descensive, defensive elemental enchantments are twice as strong holy crap We'll get that. Craft soul gems at the forge. That's nice, but studies have enabled you to research unique enchantments of your own and to craft better staves. What does it mean by unique enchantments of your own? Uh, enchantments 15% stronger allows you to acquire unique ones with artificer's insight. I don't know if those are particularly useful right now. Oh, and we can we can throw out a perk into that, right? So there we go. They're 35% more powerful. Attribute and regen enchantments are 75% stronger. Good lord. And oh my god, fortify skill enchantments are 75% more potent. So at the very least, even if we don't get up to a hundred, right? Um also enchanted weapons consume 15% less energy. Yeah, this like what what we really want is this. Right? So like fortify smithing skills, that's going to be, this is what our goal is. Probably, uh, definitely for this episode. The only reason I can't really play a Wildlander is because the follower framework he uses is not good. Um, it should have went with nethers, probably. I can't really speak to that because I don't understand what the differences are. So I think what we'll do, let us grab a bunch of these petties here, right? Oh, we, we can just grab all of them, right? They're so light that... Let's take them all. All these two. So, let's see what we can apply. Oh, yeah, this is a petty soul gem in a lesser gem, so we're just gonna do that. We have this iron knife here. What's the most valuable thing we can craft? Wow. No. Oh, looks like it was the first thing up top there. Futeness damages stamina. And I think this makes it less valuable, right? Oh yeah, definitely. So we'll boost up the power. Looks good to me, right? And then... Petty... <laughs> I mean, if we had um, paralysis, we'd be making a lot more money. So maybe we should go uh, go order one right now, right? We'll pay the gold. 
And we, we should get a return on investment relatively quickly. I mean, we're going to need more hunting knives, but... Turning... I think we know banishment, right? It's pretty valuable. Absorb health. Absorb health is really valuable, too. What's, like, the most valuable one he has here? Spellbane... It's definitely going to be paralysis, though. And so anything other than that, like, almost isn't worth it. So. So there we go, right? Our order's in. We'll get that back eventually. And we can use that to power level some, some enchantments. In the meantime, what we can probably do is craft a bunch of daggers, I guess. Or buy them. Probably be better off just buying them. I don't want to waste materials. But at least now we have a bunch of these, so. And I think we're going to save them. We're going to save them until the following day, and we'll put them all right in here. Because once we have that other... Paralysis knife, we'll get way more XP. So instead, let's drop off all... Whoa! I wasn't expecting my movement speed to go up there. We'll drop off all of our ingots that we picked up and this random deer pelt, apparently, that spawned into my inventory. Yeah, it's some sort of weird bug that causes this. It's really weird. Oh, yeah, we're up to 16k again. Look, we're getting we're getting all this gold. We don't know what to do with it. Um, didn't I put some stuff in here? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. I forgot about all of this. So this is all of the orcish equipment that we looted. Remember this? Oh. Oh. So I think what we'll do. Let's see. How many how many pieces of equipment do we have here? I think what I figured out was that I was going to break down all of the boots because the, the their value to ingot return ratio is very low. So as an example, these gauntlets, when you break them down, they give one ingot, but they're worth 200 gold. The boots give, I think, two ingots, but they're worth 200 gold. The helmets give two ingots, but they're worth 300. And then the chests, the, the shields give, I think, three but they're worth 300 but no they're worth closer to 400 right and then the chest plates give five but they're worth 750 so we definitely don't want to break down the chest plates but we need more um we need more ingots basically so we're gonna break down all the boots oh and let us smelt them To there we go. So let's see. How much XP does this give? A lot. How about the shields? Also a lot. So we'll let's just power through all the chest plates, right? They keep moving. Oh no, oh we got a total level. Oh crap. All right, we we have to go get uh training. Right? We have to get more training. He's not down here. There's no way. He has to be out adventuring somewhere. <gasps> no way. We found him. He Come was downstairs me, the whole time. It's all in the swing. Let me show you. Easy. All right. Perfect. Stick it into health, and we're level forty. Excellent. So I don't I don't know what uh, enchanting level we started at, or and I think we started at, like smithing eighty two, but we're we're powering through them, right? The um. 
I'm glad we were able to find him. What we'll probably do is go grab more gold and just come back for more training almost immediately. And then we're going to go back to uh, improving all of that orcish equipment that we found. Because then we're going to enchant it and then we're going to sell it. And then the cycle repeats. Yay! Uh... Yeah, it looks like any um, potent magic tree is going to be our best bet. Unless we want to do fortify smithing. But. <laughs> it's so junky. We'll just do fortify smithing because even though it's like 40 gold less, it's at the top. And I don't want to have to think about it, so. So we have to do it in the correct order. Hey, level 50. All right, let's throw a perk in right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Enchanting. Is this worth it? I mean, research unique enchantments of your own. I don't really understand what that means. Attribute and regen enchantments are 75% stronger. So now we have to double check the, the value of stuff, right? These are all resist enchantments, so I wouldn't expect them to be more valuable. That's fine. All right, looks like we're down to the gauntlets. Let's see what we get. Eh, eh. I'm honestly so unimpressed with like the the value of these that I don't even think it's worth using our petty soul gems to enchant these. Like that's how bad it is. So I don't think we will. There we go. That's it, we're quitting. Cool. Wait a minute. What happened to those bows? Oh, oh, we're we're saving the bows. That's right. We're saving the bows to uh do paralysis on them. Then I guess what we'll do is we'll take, look, look at this, look at this. Look at all these. Fortify smithing by one point. Uh, swim underwater, so that was pretty good with all the helmets, right? It boosted their value by at least 300, I think, or around 250. And then these, it, it wasn't all that much. And I don't know if it was actually worth it to enchant the shields, but they had a large base value. So, you know, I guess that was worth it. Why wasn't I wearing the Fortify Smithing Ring while I was making all these? That's fine. <laughs> what we'll do is um, we'll go up and we're gonna wiggle our way around and try and sell as much as we can. I think Fortify Magic Magicka Regen's valuable, so I'm just gonna buy a bunch of salt. As we can. Great. Take care of yourself. No, oh, Eric! Where what are you doing? What it's are you long doing long in the corner? Long. It's inappropriate. Come on, Eric. Let's get going then. True savage. Good to see. So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Yeah, get rid of those, two of these, and we'll just sell them all together. I mean, we, we're level 90 speech, right? Cool. Be careful out there. This is going surprisingly well, right? Selling all of these, uh, these things. What? No! So I think what we should do, so the reason that I, I'm not using these is because you can 
when you have a higher enchanting level, you have a less likely chance of breaking them, and so you can continue to research with them. This is kind of an automated way to train your enchanting. But I think we've reached the point where we can kind of grab a bunch of these. And now that we're level 50, we can begin working with them without it being a disaster, right? It's also gonna take like real world time, I believe. So to study the item, uh, I guess we'll study its primary property. I don't know. You have learned an extraordinary amount of apprentice spells involving weapons. Did, did that give us... Oh yeah, I don't I don't really care about what the enchantments are. Um, doesn't seem to be anything else of interest to study. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. How much XP did that actually give us? So, oh, that's right, it diminishes our magicka. Ah, I forgot about that. Hmm. That's okay. So I guess I shouldn't have been caring so much about these. Well, we'll try, uh, we'll do some more, right? Hey, Craftsman's Notice. And uh, it isn't diminishing it that badly, right? We're also not really getting that much XP. Unless, what, were we already at enchanting level 55? I can't remember. It's not giving us level up notifications, but we'll do secondary properties. Journey amount on expert spells involving controlling techniques. Cool. Yeah, it's it's barely giving us anything, right? Damn. But Oh, this this is for like how we craft our own spells, right? Is by studying these. That's the way that you do it. Okay. Well, I'm definitely going to stop picking them up now because we have way too many of them. <laughs> hmm. Divine smile on you, friend. Like to pick up my order. Hmm? Is it ready? Of course. Ooh. Oh, it's only 1,400 gold. Cool. No, Eric, I need that. What? I already know this enchantment? I don't already know Paralyze. No, it must be bugged out. Ah! Good to see you. All right. Well, hmm. I had you figured for me. Crap. It's been good talking to you. Yeah, great. Um may Maybe I did learn paralyzed from the research. I mean, I don't think so. Yeah, it must be a glitch related to the fact that it's a hunting knife. I think that's what it is, is that you just can't break down hunting knives. Okay, you, I mean, you can enchant them and sell them for gold, but... Come to dr hmm. I had you figured for a mage. Whatever, here you go. I mean, uh, actually, we're getting most of our gold back, so... Wait! Wait, we're making money by selling it back to him. We we bought it for fourteen hundred, and we're getting we're selling it for seventeen hundred. How did that work? Come to me with questions. Hey, Fine. here he is. Okay. It's all in the swing. Bum, 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 bum. And we burned through all of our gold. Yay! But that's how this works, right? Get a nice level up into health. And we can't get any more training because we need to get more gold. 
Oof. All right, what we... I was hey, Take Reed, you have like a dagger or something? A woodcutting axe. That could work. Farewell. All right, so we're gonna go get this wood cutting axe enchanted with paralysis, like a like a normal, not sociopath. What? Nah! All right, round number two. It's all in the swing. Let me show you. Ow! 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 So we're officially down to only 7,000 gold now. But we got definitely like a bunch of uh, two-handed level ups. And and I also like to think that, just, just to make this clear and like canon, that when we're getting skill training, he's training both us and Eric. Because like, Okay, bro. Come, come. I haven't got all day. All right, have fun. All right. Cause I mean, you know. What? Ah! Do that. We're both listening. Oof. It's too bad training doesn't take time in game two. Like I think each level of training should take two hours. So if you do five levels of training, that's basically ten hours. But that's my. Opinion. We'll do, I guess eight hours, right? We can wake up early. <clears throat> Craftsman notice I am ravenous. So we will go to the inn. Oh, oh, ah, crap. I accidentally. I need to ask you to stop that shouting. It's making people nervous. Oh, oh, should we should we use our Thane power? Won't happen again. Good. Glad we straightened that out. I uh we we will just we'll just be polite and continue on our way, right? We don't want to cause too much fine trouble. Thank you, friend. May you die with a sword in your hands. <laughs> wow, okay. Give me some food, please. Uh, sated and a little bit peckish, but we Be can deal with that. Can you imagine if somebody said that to you? Like, I will, like, die with a sword in your hands. Like, oh, okay. Mm, I don't think I'll be able to aim through through the grass here. Maybe now. What? Nah! Oh, oh, what a... Beautiful day. Look at this. Look at this. Huh? Beautiful. So we'll take two, right? We'll, we'll grab our our new ooh, wonderful enchanted weapon. Hey. Divine smile on you, friend. Hmm. Order, it's my order ready. There it is. Now let's break it down. What? Huh? How is it saying that I already know this? Is this a bug? This has to be some sort of bug. But good to see you. Take a look. Fine, fine, whatever. Here, have a wood cutting axe. You take care of yourself now. Maybe you can't maybe you can't disenchant crafted materials. Architect Origins might be right. Huh. But, uh, so we're at 8,000 gold, and I believe our next step, then, 
is to take all these bows and probably the those as well. All right, let's do some enchant. So let's see, what's our our best enchantment here? Probably still the top one, right? Yeah. Yep, stamina damage. Have to make sure I don't ax. Oops. Uh... Luckily, it's always at the top too, so that's nice. Can't remember. So there we go. We're up to 63. Oh, hey, we got our level there. Nice. And we'll put it into health. Look at all our perk points. Mm -hmm. We really need to get our block up. Like, we really need to get our block up. Right? Wearing heavy armor improves chance of success when power bashing. What else we got here? Blocking with weapon is 40. Oh, um. Oh, never mind. That's just like shield. Right? Shield protection. Blocking no longer slows you down. So you can just do like a blocking stamina charge. Yeah, the rest of these, I think you need a, a shield, right? Disarming opponents, power bashing. Instead of, oh, oh look, look at this, look at this. High level, oh, uh, can we do this? Yes! Truly devastating and you can cut down multiple foes. Oh, um, sideways power attacks can hit multiple foes. This, we're actually not going to invest in because one of the problems with this perk is that if you have allies in front of you and you accidentally do like a, a sweeping attack, you can hurt your allies. So we'll invest in it once we get up to these, right? But, but even then, like, so sideways power attacks can knock down. We might not invest in these two perks. Because we don't use sideways power attacks. We do use great swords as our primary weapons, though. So we're maxing that out. I'm very happy about that. And then, what else? We're, we're getting close to 90. That's pretty exciting. All right, let's... Let's see what we got. Jeweler's kit. All right, so I suppose we'll start with the silver, right? I'm surprised that Okay, so in order to craft these, we need all of, like, the circlets and everything. Hmm. What do we already have for... Like, so so we have some, like, like, basic gold diamond stuff, right? I think we should craft some of our flawless rings and necklaces. Because you can't fail at them, right? So... We have four flawless diamonds. So what we could do... Where's Eric? Eric! There he is. At first I thought I'd miss one. No problem. How can what I do help? you have for, like, necklaces and stuff? He's an amulet of Stendar? Good lord. And then this, which which we just kind of looted, right? So we gave it to him. Yeah, Eric. Let's get going then. We're gonna we're not gonna enchant them today. In fact, we're probably gonna have uh, we're gonna pay to have these enchanted. We are going to craft two gold flawless gold diamond necklaces and two flawless gold diamond rings. How much XP do we get? None. We get no XP. 
Zero XP. Ugh. Well, that's kind of heartbreaking. I didn't know that. So, our limited resource is gold, not gems. And with a gold bar, you can get five necklaces or ten gold rings. So, five necklaces or ten rings. We also have a limited number of soul gems. So, I think we're going to end up going with necklaces. Oh! What? How did we just get a level up? What the hell just happened? Is it like delayed? Oh, we are getting XP. It just doesn't happen immediately. You have to like move the mouse in order for it to update. Watch this, watch this. That is really weird, right? So, when we craft one of these. <coughs> huh? So crafting the, like, the necklaces works. Or craft, yeah, crafting the raw gold items works. But, see, and, but you have to move the mouse up and down in order for it to show. But when you actually craft the, like, the items, it doesn't. Oh, this is also ridiculous. All right. So, to end our episode, we're gonna use up all of our lesser soul gems here. And we have to figure out which of these gives, ooh. Oh, right, this is rank two, so that's 600, right? The most gold, the highest value. Ooh, resist magic this is looking like a winner. Oh, my goodness, no, it's water breathing. Yeah, I think all the fortifies here will, will give roughly the same. I was not expecting that necklaces of water breathing was going to be our best bet here. There you have it, right? It's not by much, but it is the winner. Oh, because we're switching to common gems, right? And so we might get more XP out of these. I don't know. Wow. Oh, but again, the, um... Wait a minute. Now that the the gem has changed, it might be more effective to get... Yeah, it is, look. So this was 750, but because we're using stronger ones now, resist magic is more powerful, and so it's worth more. The actual strength, the way it works is that the water breathing, again, is just a flat enchantment. So you can use really crappy gems and it's worth a lot of gold. But once you use more powerful gems, you'll want to use actual enchantments. Like resist magic. Okay. Of course, I don't have many things left. Yeah. Then it doesn't really matter what the actual item is here. Oh, what are we going to do with the gold diamond necklaces? I didn't realize I had those. All right, we're gonna call it there. So we we enchanted all our jewelry. We got up to 70 enchanting in one episode. Didn't we start at like 35 at the beginning of this episode? We're halfway to level 43. Oh, we are very close. And <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so we ench let's go up top. So we we managed to create 
all of this enchanted stuff here. Um, we still have these five we have to get rid of. We have these that we have to sell. We have all of our enchanted jewelry here that we have to sell, right? A lot with just base, you know, simple magic resistance and a lot with water breathing as well. So we are swimming in gold. We just need somebody to buy all of it. And then we will take that gold. We're going to invest it into two-handed training. And once we're up to level 90 with that, we're probably going to invest into, I imagine, restoration will be the next thing that we're throwing our money into. Or maybe even enchanting, right? Maybe even smithing, right? Why not just pay the gold to do the uh, the last five levels of smithing? Because Yorlin Greyman is a master smither, right? So I don't know if he can train us beyond level 90, unfortunately, but you know, who knows? So there we have it, right? That's going to be our episode. We managed to get a tremendous number of levels. And on the next episode, we're going to do a little bit more enchanting. We're going to see if we can get to 75 and then create our crafting outfits. So thank you very much for joining us. Have a wonderful night, everyone.